All right, hey guys, it's Miss Trillo again. I'm gonna walk you guys through how to measure and cut fabric with a variety of different tools. So just to show you what we have here, um, these are some different options you could use. You don't need all these, um, but I'm gonna show you how to use different ones. So we have a rotary cutter mat or an X-Acto mat back here. So we have three of these in the classroom. Um, these are great for X-Acto knives or rotary cutters. And they also have measurements along all the edges. So this can be a great tool to use. Um, we also have a long straight edge ruler. This is aluminum. This is great because it both has um, inches, but it also has a really good firm edge that you can use for drawing a straight line or even using as an edge to bring your rotary cutter along. We have this clear ruler board. Um, this is nice to be able to lay on top of fabric and measure and see your fabric underneath. That's really helpful when your fabric has patterns and you're wanting to make sure, like let's say you're making a mask, maybe your pattern had a really cute dinosaur that you wanted to make sure was on the front middle. You'd wanna be able to see your fabric while you're measuring it. So that can be helpful as well. And then last but not least, probably our most commonly used measuring tool in here is the soft measuring tape. The soft measuring tape, you always start at the edge of the tape and then measure over. So for example, with this one, you'd start here and then at the one is one inch. At the two, big line is two inches. Some students get confused and maybe start here or they think starting at one is zero, but starting at the edge of the metal is zero and then the one is one inch and so on and so forth. That's standard for rulers in general. So same thing with all of these. The, the edge would be zero then one inch over, two inch, three inch, four, five, and over here would be actually six inches. Um, again, same with all these other rulers, one, two, three, so on. Um, don't get confused with the other side. Actually with this ruler, fun fact, that is also inches. No, yes, yeah, yeah, it is, thanks to you. Okay, so let's say I asked you guys to cut out a six inch by six inch piece of fabric. That means you want it to not only have those correct measurements, but you want it to be square. So like an actual perfect square. Sometimes fabric can be tricky. It has what's called grain, which means if you were to look at it, maybe shine a light through, you can actually see that there are stitches that go vertical and horizontal. So up and down and side to side. Sometimes cheap fabric can be off grain, which means it's all slightly skewed and diagonal. And that might be the case with what fabric you're using. So you've got to make sure that not only are your measurements right, but your fabric itself is square, like it's straight all the way around. So some tips and tricks for how to get your fabric square and measured accurately. I like having a couple different tools nearby in case I decide to try or test it with something else. Uh, but let's say I was gonna do a six inch by six inch square. I'm gonna start on this cutting mat and I'm gonna let one of these lines that's on here, it doesn't matter which measurement or whatever, but I'm gonna let one of them be my lineup for finding a straight edge of fabric. So like, I'm gonna take my fabric, this line is pretty straight. I've got a little bit of a curve here, but I'm gonna line it up against that line at the top. Ideally, you would have already ironed your fabric because wrinkles can mess up your measurement. But from my straight line that I've got going up here, I'm gonna take my measuring tape and a little piece of chalk. We call this Taylor's chalk. It comes off really easily with water. I'm getting more pieces soon, so we don't have to use these tiny ones. But I'm going to start by putting my measuring tape at the top, bringing the measuring tape down. And then at six, I'm going to do a mark on both sides of the six. Then I'm actually gonna slide my measuring tape down, or over, should I say. And then I'm going to mark on both sides of six. You can slide over maybe like every two inches. It doesn't have to be precise, but just enough that you're gonna have a dotted line to follow. So I'm marking on each side of six. I'm gonna go down just a little bit more, but you only need to go as far as your other cut's gonna be. So what I mean by that is I'm now gonna go the other direction and I'm gonna put my 
measuring tape on the end and bring it over and mark top and bottom of six. Before I do that though, now that I'm looking at it, I want to make sure that my fabric on this side over here is straight. So what you can do first is take another straight edge before you do this measuring part. Um, I'm going to line it up with the perpendicular straight line on this cutting mat. Um, that way I can trim off the excess of this fabric to be a straight line. So I'm actually going to pull it up, still keeping the top of my fabric in line with the mat. But now I'm going to take my straight edge, line it up there and line it up down here so that I know this is perfectly straight. So you can see already, like this part of fa the fabric is a little narrower than this part, which means this is gonna be good for us to do so that it's nice and straight. I'm gonna open my rotary cutter. Make sure you grab one that says fabric only because that means it's got a new blade. You never put your fingers under the blade, but I'm gonna hold the ruler straight and firm. And then I've got my blade of the rotary cutter coming along the edge of my metal ruler. I'm gonna pause, bring my hand up to hold it in place and continue. Always close your blade when you're done. And now we have a perfectly straight edge to measure off of. So our top, we came down six inches. I'm now gonna come over six inches. So metal tip on the edge, come over. Right here is our six. Don't be confused since it's upside down. It looks like a nine. Then I'm going to slide down. Marking above and below six. Coming all the way down. Sometimes in our projects, I'll just give you a template to copy. So you don't actually have to do the whole measuring part. But it is something you need to know. All right. So we've got our lines coming down here and our lines going over here. So this is six inches and six inches. So now I could cut it out with either just a pair of scissors, okay? Um, I do have some fabric scissors, but honestly, these gray and red ones are sharper. Um, so you could use these scissors to cut, or if there's an open rotary cutter that says fabric only, that'll be sharp too. So I'll just use this since I have it. And I'm just gonna follow the line. Now, if you're worried that this isn't enough of a guide to help you, what you could also do is grab your straight edge, line up your tick marks. See how a couple are like slightly higher or lower? You can kind of use your straight edge to catch the majority of them and then draw a new line. Keeping in mind that when I cut it now, I'm gonna wanna cut on the lower side of that line so I'm not getting the wrong measurement. So then over here, I could do the same. I'm gonna bring the straight edge right up next to it, keeping in line with most of those hash marks, and then marking. So the wise phrase is always measure twice, cut once. So if you're smart, you'll go back and measure and make sure this is accurately six by six. If your fabric has that raw edge and you don't like it, you can trim it off to make it perfect, just like our other one. So I'm going down, making sure we're at six. We're looking good. So now, again, I could use the straight edge if I want. Since I have it here, I will use it on one side, but on the other, I'll show how you're gonna freehand if you don't have a straight edge. So going this way, and fold my fabric over and just with a steady slow hand you can freehand all right so that's how you cut a six inch by six inch square